Hi there, thanks for joining me this afternoon. Today I just want to do a quick tip for sew art, and that tip is to use SVG files for your image file instead of trying a JPG or a PNG. So you can use those, definitely, and I'm going to show you the difference, okay? And I wish that I had known this way back whenever I first started making videos because it would save everybody so much time and effort if we can do this. All right, so I bought these images off of Etsy, etsy.com, and from July Digital Images, and let's see. And it comes with all of these individually, and it comes as, I believe, a PNG or a JPG. I'll show you in a second. And also as an SVG. An SVG is a scalable vector graphic. And I don't know what all that stuff means, but I do know that it means it keeps its colors. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this real quick. If you want to see it again, it's called July Digital Images. Pause the video and write it down. Okay. All right, so I'm going to open, I'm going to try to choose open. <laughs> okay, so I saved this folder on my desktop. I'm going to look for it really quick. Vector flower elements is what the folder came out to. Open it up, and it's going to give me two different kind of files for all of them. Okay, so... It's going to give me this, which is the SVG file. It might look like an Internet Explorer looking file on yours. I'm not really sure how it looks on different computers, but I know on my computer, sometimes it looks like the Internet Explorer and sometimes it looks like this. So um, this, the first one gives you all of them. And then the second one, this is the, let's see if it'll give me a little, it's a JPEG. Okay, and the SVG is right below it, same image, okay? So we're going to use vector flower number eight because it's adorable. Now, if we bring it in as a JPEG, click open. It's still going to bring it in really beautifully. This is really, really nice. But it has 255 colors. We're going to choose OK, and that's not really a problem on something this simple, something this simple. We can probably bring it down to 10 without getting too much jaggedness and bring it down to 2. On these kind of files that are really, oh, sorry, 3 because I forget, counts the background. <laughs> on these kind of blocky um, JPEGs, they'll be fine to do that and you don't have a whole lot of prep work. I would, you know, refill in the spots with good colors, with colors from SoArt before you go to digitize it. But that's a lot of work, right? So let's go ahead and open a new one and let's open this file, we're going to choose vector flower eight again, but this time we're going to choose the SVG file. Choose open. Okay, and then we're going to go up here to the colors, and it only has three colors. We had to get to skip all those other steps. We don't even have to fill it in because it's good to go. Okay, there is a little spot that I can see right here that it's not meeting up. So I don't know if that's specific to this or from bringing it in, but if that happens to you, just go in, grab the dropper, grab the green, and just fill in that little square. <laughs> okay, sometimes you have to zoom in a lot. I don't know why it's not working. There we go. I guess I needed to zoom in even more to get it specific for that little tiny one. But anyways, 
So that's just how simple it is. If you have an SVG, it's going to be very simple. You're not going to have to worry about the color reductions. You're not going to have to poster, posterize it. You're not going to have to worry about merging colors and fixing things, adding in lines or any of that stuff, erasing. It's good to go. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have SVGs, I encourage you to use those for SOART um, if you have the option to use an SVG over the JPG or a PNG or any other kind of image file. Alrighty, I hope, I already said I hope that this was helpful. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.